my Halloween costume. Halloween is coming tonight. Everyone is excited about the Halloween costume party. Including Marissa. I want to go to the party. Marissa says. However, I only have an old and ragged made dress. Marissa says. Perhaps I can borrow from Mrs. Lee. She has many beautiful clothes. Marissa walks to Mrs. Lee's room. It's quite a tough decision. There are so many dresses to choose from. Mrs. Lee proudly exclaimed. Pardon me. Mrs. Lee, may I please borrow a dress from you? Marissa asks. Oh, my darling, I'm afraid I can't because you look even more charming in that maid outfit. Mrs. Lee smiles. <laughs> Marissa feels sad. She decides to ask for her friend's help. Marissa walks to a meadow. Mr. Bunny, are you at home? I need your help. Marissa shouts. Yes, I am. What happened? Mr. Bunny answers loudly. I want to go to the Halloween party, but I don't have a good costume. Marissa cries. I can lend you my ears so that you can dress like a bunny. Mr. Bunny says. Thank you, Mr. Bunny. You are so kind. Marissa says. She jumps around happily with Mr. Bunny. Then, she heads to a jungle. Well, the bunny ears are good, but it's not enough for the Halloween party. Marissa says. Mr. Lemur, are you at home? I need your help. Marissa shouts again. Yes, I am. What happened? Mr. Lemur replied. I want to go to the Halloween party, but I don't have a good costume. Marissa says worriedly. I can lend you my tail so that you can dress like a lemur. Mr. Lemur says. Thank you, Mr. Lemur. You are so kind. Marissa says. Then, she encounters Miss Cheetah. Miss Cheetah has a good taste in fashion. My poor little girl, what happened? Miss Cheetah asks. Miss Cheetah, I want to go to the Halloween party, but my costume is still not good enough. Marissa says. Don't worry, my little girl. Take this dress, put it on, and you will be the brightest star at the party. Miss Cheetah says. What a beautiful dress! Thank you, Miss Cheetah. Marissa says and leaves cheerfully. <laughs> Night falls, and the Halloween costume party is about to begin. On the way to the party, Marissa hides the bunny ears, lemur tail, and the beautiful dress in a black cloak and hat. She doesn't want to draw attention before the party. Marissa opens the door and walks in the party. Then, she takes off the cloak and hat. Tonight, she is dazzling.